want to read a Bible verse, uh, Matthew uh, chapter 5, uh, 43 through 48. Um, ye have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of our Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Don't you want to be perfect? I know I do. Um, you know, I'm uh, really foggy in the head. I have a, um, I can't concentrate um, at all. Uh, and it's getting worse. Um, I'm forgetting um, a lot of the scriptures that I'm I'm memorizing, and uh, I've been trying to memorize a scripture, and uh, I can't even remember the first sentence. And I've went over my head with it hundreds of times. And uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, I have to say that my heart is uh, really hurting inside. Um, you know, my sister passing away and uh, being so young that she was and Hearing what she had to talk about before she passed away, knowing her lifestyle, and uh, being in the Word, I know that uh, God took her when she wasn't ready, and uh, you know God's Word uh, says that a righteous uh, man or woman or person involves you or uh, scarcely saved so um, can you imagine dying not putting God, for, God first in your life um, visualize that in your life um, you being angry with your neighbor regardless of who it is and then God taking your life from you and uh, you fail to submit to the gospel you fail to submit your life to the Lord you know God says you know that we have to have him first in our life we have to know that he is first in our life and that we put nothing before him before we die and there are so many Christians out there, lukewarm Christians, that read their Bible, but yet they don't want to. They want to um, say that oh, we all live in sin, and uh, we're going to sin to the day we die. And you know, as long as we confess our sins, uh, God's faithful and to forgive us of our sins. Um, God is willing to forgive you of your sins. Yes, absolutely. 
But when you read the Bible, there's so much scripture where God talks about where he does not hear the prayers of sinners and that repentance is a, a change of mind, a change of heart, uh, that we t turn from our sins and, and that if we go back to our sins, we're like a, a dog that goes back to, her, to his vomit. In other scriptures you know and in God's Word and I know from personal experience um, that uh, there are those things of ignorance that are brought back under the obedience of Christ and uh, those are the things that God talks about that pertain to if we sin it's not when we sin it's if we sin and um, with the sins of that willful stuff that stuff that people want to give into that temptation you know, um, I can tell you honestly, um, regardless of how strong that temptation is, um, I've been able to turn from all willful sin uh, day in and day out. Uh, every day that I wake up, um, I make a willful choice to serve and obey the Lord and, and to love my neighbor. Um, you know, I have to be careful too um, with... Uh, Oh, I need to be careful with some people and uh, and others I just don't hold back the truth when I'm holding when I'm open air preaching I don't hold back um, it might be aggressive but you know that person might die tomorrow you know and uh, um, uh, for me if uh, I was living in my sin um, I, I honestly have to tell you that I'd have to tell somebody has to flat out tell me, man. If I'm living in fornication, um, you're on your way to hell. You know, I couldn't. You know, somebody just told me, "Oh, God loves you," and uh, didn't tell me to turn from my sin. Or, or just told me, "Oh, just ask for forgiveness," and uh, you know, and, and just do your best. Um, I know the Bible doesn't teach do your best uh, or try. The Bible says. Um, literally it, it tells you to obey him or you will perish uh, God has no room in his kingdom for any gray and uh, you have the ability to to walk perfect and holy with the Lord not saying that you won't make no mistakes but when those mistakes come the Bible says if you draw nigh to God he'll draw nigh to you and if we resist the devil he will flee from us so when we resist um, the temptations of the flesh uh, we're uh, uh, God's um, we're doing what God wants us to do and God says in his word if we confess our sins Yes, he is faithful and trustworthy to forgive us of all sins and he's to remember it as far as the east is from the west And yeah, we do remember we remember our sins uh, More than well God says he forgets them. So we ought not remember ours But if you're living in willful sin, that's a problem um, if you're giving in to drunkenness and anything sexually immoral or um, you know, drugs, lying, stealing, uh, living for the world, uh, looking for praise from the world with your, say, TikTok content where, you know, you're making videos and there's nothing about God. You're a friend of the world um, and stuff like that. You know, you can do educational videos like cooking videos are cool and, you know, mechanic and, you know, but, you know, anything video that I do, I like to, um, I'm always expressing the Lord first. Um, in anything that I do, um, whether I, I make videos or or I'm out walking around and I meet people, um, you know, the Bible says that their blood's on my hands, so I have to say something about the Lord, and I have to bring up repentance because the Bible, in the Bible, when Jesus started His ministry, um, He said to uh, uh, to repent uh, for the kingdom of God is at hand, and that was right after His ministry started, right after His uh, baptism. The 40-day fast that tempted by the devil in the desert and uh, and then um, the first thing Jesus said after that was uh, I believe uh, was was definitely was repent um, uh, I think it might be for the kingdom of God is at hand um, but it definitely started with repent and repent means to turn and have a change of mind again and uh, um, obey the gospel that's what God means by repent um, if you're living, if you're living in sin, um, the Bible says that you're, uh, you're of your father, the devil. So repent.